Color theory is both surprisingly complex and relatively simple. It refers to the diverse ways of blending colors to create something visually pleasing and harmonious. One of the most basic elements of color theory is the color wheel, a circular diagram of the colors. In order to understand the color wheel and assorted schemes that is suggest, you must first understand the primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. Primary colors. First and foremost, the primary colors are yellow, red, and blue are at the top of any color structure. That's because you can think of the three primaries as the original parents of all the future generations of colors. In theory, primary colors are the root of every other colors. Secondary colors. Next come the three secondary colors, orange, purple, and green. Think of the secondary colors as the children of the three primaries as shown above. In color theory, we are thought that the secondary colors are mixed like this. Yellow plus red, the outcome is orange. Red plus blue, the outcome is purple. Blue plus yellow, the outcome is green. Tertiary colors. Finally, the remaining six colors are referred to as the tertiary colors. Think of this as the six grandchildren of the primary colors. Again, color theory teaches us that each tertiary color is the result of one primary color mixed with one of its nearest secondary colors. Therefore, we end up with a new color somewhere in between. For more colors theory, neutrals, black, white, and gray are considered neutrals. They can be used alone to add depth and contrast to a painting. In addition, they can be mixed into any other color to create shades, tones, and tints. A shade is created by adding black to a color. A tone is created by adding gray, while a tint is created by adding white. The amount of neutral that you add affects the final appearance appearance the best of the colors although most color wheels show only the 12 primary secondary and tertiary colors theoretically every possible color would have a home on the color wheel changing the mix of colors from a 50 to 50 ratio to something else will create a new color for example you might add just a few drops of blue to yellow point to create a strong yellow green or a few drops of red to blue paint to create a dramatic blue violet there is no right way to create your color scheme but color theory will help you find solutions that are visually pleasing understanding how different colors are created is the first step forward choosing just the right color combination for your pointing.